Thank you for taking the time to watch. My name is Jeffrey Katz, and I'm a Senior Finance Solution Architect with Western Computer. Welcome to part two of our four-part series on workflow in Dynamics 365. In part two, I'll be reviewing accounts payable in voice workflow. In accounts payable, there are 11 out-of-box workflow types. Today, I'll be focusing on vendor invoice workflow journal. There are also five out-of-box workflow elements they use when designing and building a workflow. They are approval vendor invoice recording with flow controls that allow for conditional decisions, manual decisions, parallel activities, and sub-workflow. Other features include approximately 145 out-of-box workflows, and an easy to use graphical user interface, drag and drop capabilities of the elements onto a workflow canvas, multiple ways of assigning a user for approval purposes, email notifications so you know when it's your time to approve, as well as the ability to maintain different versions of the same workflow. I'm now going to log into Dynamics 365 and open the workflow editor. Now that I'm in the workflow editor, on the left hand side, you'll see the workflow elements that I mentioned earlier in my presentation. In the center of the screen is our workflow canvas. Here I built out a very simple workflow whereby when a journal is submitted for approval, it will come into a conditional statement. In this conditional statement, which is a true false, if I go into my basic settings, I have that if this particular worker submits the journal, then the workflow will move over to the left. If anybody else submits the workflow journal, it will move to the right as a false. You'll see here I have this labeled as approval by J. Katz. Here, if I go to a level down and I go into my assignment, this is where I can assign a user. If I go into user, here I can have one or many different users that have the ability to approve. This is where our completion policy comes in. I can have it that all approvers need to approve, a percentage, or just a single approver. Go back up. As well as if it goes to the right as a false, the same thing. I can also have different approvers, as you can see in this case, approved by G. Williams. I go into my assignment. I go to my user. Again, I can have one user or multiple users assigned with the same capability on the completion policy. Here, I still have it set as a single approver. We'll go back up to the main campus. After J. Katz or Greg Williams approves, it hits our end. Now the batch is ready for posting. But let's say I want to change my workflow where I'm not using a conditional. I can easily come in. I can remove my workflow arrows, my flow arrows. Remove my conditional. And in this instance, I'm going to have it where J. Katz will approve first. After he approves it, it will then move on to G. Williams. And after G. Williams, it's completed. Thank you for watching. Please watch for part three of our series on budget entries workflow. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on Western Computer's video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics Finance Operations. Thank you. Have a great day.